what's going on guys welcome to today's vlog it is wednesday the 6th of june i'm starting today's vlog early for once in the morning we've got baby aurora who's sleeping so shh be quiet oh ain't she beautiful all asleep in in the land of nod wonder what she's dreaming about probably boob milk so there's been an accident outside on the main road i'm obviously not going to show you because it's vulgar but um a car has over tipped onto its side with uh, a woman in it they've just brought the air ambulance in there's about 15 police and um, fire engines they've blocked the road off outside they're cutting her out doesn't look good at all so i had a walk up before yeah, when it happened because it's like tilted on the side but obviously there's loads of people there anymore like but there's always some idiot in there yeah it looks like someone was coming around the corner really quickly and she swerved hit the pavement and it's knocked the car onto its side but I don't know if it's an elderly woman. We don't know yet, but hopefully she's all right. But they did bring the air ambulance in before it landed over there on the cricket ground. If you've seen me fly over with a drone before, you'll see where you'll know where the cricket ground is. We were trying to get from them where wrong, we are. Wanted, but... <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that's how we how we're starting the day. Okay, guys. So far, I would check in with you what and just let you know what I've been up to today. So the majority of the day, I've actually been sat with Aurora. Because she's just been a little mardy bum most of the day. So, I'm catching up with you now. Anyway, I think I'm going to go and finish some of Aurora's room. Do some painting down there. And we also got the piece of skirt board that needs to go down there. I've still not even moved these clothes that I put there from the other day. Because I'm still waiting to find the time to do my video for my other channel. Which I haven't managed to do yet. As you can gather because it's not up. So, it's me and Alpha, me and Alpha here, right? Dave is at his office. So, there is a couple of things that I want to do. Well, I'm going to show you actually. Firstly, if you notice, oh, it's going to be dark. In your house, you always have a cupboard. Well, you have loads of cupboards in your house, but you always have them drawers, like these drawers. Where you just throw everything in like this one we've even got a drill in here why do we need a drill in the kitchen we've got i don't even know what they are face painting things we've got chocolate making kits we've even got um sachets for the tassel we've got everything in there so this is one thing that definitely needs sorting out these drawers and Dave really needs a proper toolbox to go somewhere, which I don't know where it's going to go because we haven't got any rooms. But here's another jar. Just check this out. This is just like I sit there every day and think I'm going to sort them drawers out and I just don't get around to it. But look, this is with the utensils. This is cleaned out and up every week, but because they're always throwing stuff in it, it just gets absolutely disgusting. And this was only cleaned about two days ago. Look at it. This is because the kids open everything. They open this and open, like, can be crisp, can be an ice pop or anything. But they seem to just stand there and open it over all this. So anyway, most of this needs clearing. Look at this. We've even got a Christmas cutter. Toothpaste. And it just needs sorting. Everything needs sorting. They actually need a new one of these, actually. I don't know why I keep saying actually, but we actually do. Then, is this cupboard, which is just full of everything. And sorry about this, this is not my doing, but this is how it was when we moved in and I refused to put a new kitchen in here. We did paint it to make it look a bit better, but we might just get a new piece of wood to go in here because this is actually disgusting. It's just old and just, I hate it. I just hate looking in this cupboard altogether. And it's just horrible. So hopefully we could try and tackle this now, get rid of all the garbage and hopefully tidy it out a little bit. Bleach all these and hopefully have some organization in there. I always tidy the medicine cupboard. Then Dave gets his hands in there and messes it up. I also tidied this cupboard. As you can see, it's a mess. You know why? Because David goes in it, that's why. So, hopefully we're going to get them sorted out before he comes home. Put this 
why I'm it doesn't go dark. Oh, I just wanted to fill you in. So, as you know, I've set up a new page. It is called Garland Creations Company. I can't remember them. It's gonna take some getting used to. So, this is still up after all that time from making it. The balloons have actually started falling off it now, which is a nightmare. But it has actually stayed up. But I want Dave to take it down later on, pop all the balloons and just get rid of it. But what I am doing is, the ones with the gold in them, I'm actually going to get him to let them down slowly and keep in all of the gold um, things from inside because I can always use them to decorate other balloons. See, I'm always thinking ahead. So that's the idea, get all that down and start building a new one hopefully this week. But I was going to tell you, I actually got my first order in yesterday. It's actually for a christening on the... I think it's the seventh sips or the seventh it's a sunday i think it's the sips of july so we'll be there from like eight o'clock we can get in at eight and they won't be there till half one and i should imagine it will take me about three hours to do it i'm saying that this is my first time so we have told her that this is my first time so but to be fair if i would have started that one earlier than when we did that would have been done in about three hours easier and that's like so big there's actually ones you can get there's a girl that I watch on youtube and she actually does these all the time and she does them for like events and weddings and christenings and birthdays and photo shoots and everything else and there's actually a mermaid one that she's done that is absolutely awesome so i want to try that out but i'll probably make that at my studio what like blue at the bottom I'm like pink it's like all different colours and then you've got like um, the foil fins at the top yeah, they're kind of stuck together and then just like, like the stuck to the blinds like but that yeah man. there's loads of, I've got loads of real good ideas in mind like the mm -hmm. next one I want to do is like a wedding a wedding created one which is going to be like white gold and not gold like a rose gold and then I'm going to have like um, artificial flowers threaded into it with like little leaves like, and stuff like and maybe some um, fairy lights well they're not called rice lights out there so I'll probably put some of them in Mommy, just ask someone to make your big uh, like balloon cake for the wedding or wedding balloon that, cake that good. he wants a balloon cake for his wedding do you want balloon cake for your wedding what have you done all day uh, so played it yeah. You went in the hot tub. And for like two hours. And then you were talking to the police lady. Yeah. Weren't you? For ages. Not for, not me. Well, you were sat there talking to her with Vanellope, weren't you? Yeah. Because they blocked the road. Then off, I got shot they? before all that. And then you went shot with Dad. Yeah, I got a cold can some chewing gum. Yeah. Mm. Off her of when I spent That was out of your birthday money off Barbara, wasn't it? No, you got... when I got my fat other things on my five it just gave me it from the Cash machine. No, that fibre was off Barbara out your card. Yeah, I know. When I spent that, yeah, when I put it in the machine, it gave me some more money. Your dad drinking. One minute. Is it your dad? Yep. I've got a brew. Are you mad? So, you can help Mum clean up if you want. No. Why? No. Listen, if you learn now, by the time you get married, you'll already know what to do. Yeah? And then then your new your new wife or your new girlfriend will be very impressed because you'll already be organised and clean. Can I go on the clean up? Can I go on the No. So they've been banned from the computers for a little bit because I'm sick of their attitudes. Seriously. In fact, it's not even Alfie. Alfie doesn't actually play on the computer that often, so when he does ask, we do let him go on it because, to be fair, head. you're a good boy. You don't really play on the computer that much, do you? No. But Oscar is just like starting to come out with phrases that they say on like the YouTube like, channels and stuff like, like that. Get and I just don't like it. I just don't like it. So me and Dad have agreed that. He needs a bit of time away from the computer because and it's it's 
horrible to say this, but it's, he's actually addicted to it. He is actually addicted to it. It was actually like yesterday we couldn't find his switch and I went to Dave's office to check if it was there and it weren't. He'd actually gone under the seat in the car so we did actually find it. But at home he was actually like throwing a fit because he couldn't find it and like really losing his temper and I just thought no I'm not even having this. My kids are spending way too much time in front of computers rather than books and going outside and doing stuff when, you know we used to do when we was little. We didn't have none of these computers, phones and all that stuff. We used to have to make our own fun outside with our friends. We used to have to get up and go and yeah. knock on for him. There was no, we could ring him or stuff like that or text him. Are you saying everyone goes on the computer? I don't. No, you don't go, you don't go on it often, but you do go on it. I, I go on it like And there's better things in life to be doing than playing on computers. I went outside so. today. Anyway, we're going to crack on with some stuff, otherwise we're going to stand there talking all day and then we're going to get nothing done, as usual, so... Okay, so I am just finishing up cleaning this cupboard out. There was so much garbage just stored in here. I won't say garbage, some of it was thinner. It was actually this vase. And don't get me wrong, it's beautiful. I really like it, but it's just not me. It was something that Dave's brother bought us when we renewed our wedding vows um, about three or four years ago. And... <clears throat> It just seems a shame for it just to be sat in the cupboard doing nothing when it won't match the living room and it's not really, I don't know, it's not really something I like so I think I'm going to give it to Dave's mum because there's a few ornaments as well that I've got downstairs that I just don't like anymore, it's not really me so I think I'm just going to pass them on to Dave's mum because I know that she'll look after it and it will get its use because Dave's mum's constantly getting flowers and every time we go around we're always buying the flowers as well so anyway I finished cleaning this room there is two, these two gummies as well that I think Dave's going to do with the kids tomorrow so that's some stuff out of the way because I'm sick of seeing them this, everything like actually be at the studio really but we just seem to like throw everything in the cupboard and think oh we'll do that later and then late never comes so but anyway, it looks so much tidier now. So from before to this, it's so much better. And all the pots, put all the pots up here that we can use for cooking, baking, making pies and stuff. It's actually one of these I've just put in the dishwasher that I didn't even know we had. I thought we only had two, but we didn't. We had another one at the back. So I've just put that in the dishwasher now. I think I'm going to take this out and replace it or I might take it out and paint it so and paint the bottom try and get in that cupboard and paint it all so it's all white it's just actually finding the time but hopefully in the next couple of weeks I'll be able to get that done because it just looks disgusting but I'm not prepared to buy a brand new one because as I said this isn't our house so I don't see why I should so paint will have to do so I'm just going to put these wash these you've got hand washes you can't put them in the dishwasher so i'm just gonna wash them 
and then it's just some stuff for the bin that I'm going to put in the bin now. And we also need to get some of these new whites. These strip whites actually go underneath the unit, but that one's actually blown, and we've been saying for weeks we'll replace them. So I've got it out. I'm going to get Dave to find it, and I'm going to wardrobe it in a bit. So they're all back on in the kitchen. Anyway, I'm going to crack on, and then I want to show you something. So as you know, I used to put all my washing downstairs on a wash maiden and they had this really cool idea. Do you know like when you go to Florida or you go on holiday and they have them like pull out maidens and you clip it to the other side of your bathroom? Well, I got one of them for the washroom and they put it up. So it's so convenient now because I just hang my washing in the washing room, shut the door and I don't have to see loads of washing all over the show. And it makes it more convenient because then there's that wash maiden in the way to that room that we're doing for Aurora. So I'm excited because her room is not going to take long to do now. I've got some filling in to do, a bit of painting on one side, just the rest of the white on the wall, and then I'm going to start painting it with the colour that I want to do it properly. So I'm excited to show you. I'm hoping to have that done by the end of next week with a bit of luck. But with a new baby, I'm not going to count on it. So. Well, the same new. She's not actually really new now. She's four months old. I can't believe that four months have like passed so fast. It's just I look at her now, and it's like she's almost skipped the newborn, and she never really was newborn. She just kind of come out and look like she does now. What she did, but I just I feel gutted them a little bit. It's been getting me down a little bit the last few weeks because I just don't want her to grow. I really don't want her to grow. Why? Why do they have to grow so fast? Like years and years ago, babies used to say babies for so long. When my sister was born, I mean, as many moons ago, but like when she was a baby, when she was born, it seemed like she was a baby forever and it felt like she was never going to walk, never going to crawl, never going to talk. It's just poo. Anyway, we'll see you soon. All right, so I'm just going to head over to the office now. It's been a busy day again today, really busy. <laughs> in my gym with her exams, getting everything ready for the kids going back to school. It's getting stressful. And then I've got this car that is full with this one single printer. I hate this printer because of the size of it. Check it out. So it takes up all the back of the car. It's ridiculous. And it's a long buster to get up. And then in the boot, this is the old one. This has got to go back. So once that one's out of the box, I've got to put this one back in the box and then send it back. And just down that road there, that was where that accident was. It was actually, I can tell you now, it was an old couple, um, a husband and wife. I think they were in the, the late 60s, early 70s, the car overturned and they both had to be airlifted to, um, I think it was North Manchester General over there where we had Aurora and Alpha. So yeah, not good at all. So hopefully they're all right. But it landed just over there that it took off before. It took them about three hours to clear the road. It was a mess. They had to cut them out the top. They had to take the whole roof off the car. Um, it wasn't good. It wasn't good. I wouldn't want to wish shit upon anybody. And then I've just had the really shit news that my cousin, I think I said before, they're going to have um, they're going to have to remove his entire bowel. So he's going to have to have a colostomy bag. But it's just it's just dreadful. It's uh, it's not good. So I'm going to nip over to the office now. I'm going to get this printer out of the car, I'm going to get it put on the on the bench, I'm going to get it running, I'm going to get some PLA in it, I'm going to get it printing, and then I'm going to fit the motherboard on the other one, then I'm going to head home. 82 kilometers later. Alright guys, so I'm over at the office now, I've been here for four hours, just, just knocking on four hours with Oscar, he's just out there watching the Nintendo Switch. I've got the Copymaster 400 back, it is now printing, it's just doing a test print, it's only like a four hour print, but it's looking sweet, so that should be ready tomorrow. I've got six rolls of um, shiny black PLA coming tomorrow to smash the rest of the orders. Now I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 printers that are all running. So tomorrow should be a pretty good day, unless it's not and it gets messed up for some apparent reason, I don't know. It's me, probably will. But anyway, I am going to head over to Tesco's now. I'm going to pick up this anti-snoring spray because it's um, it's becoming quite a joke now. So I'm going to 
I'm gonna go over and see what it's like. It's supposed to be absolutely rank. So that should be interesting. But I'm gonna head over to Tesco's now. Then I'm gonna go and check in with Sarah, who you've already checked in with, and uh, see what she's been up to. Meanwhile. Okay, so I said that I would nip downstairs and show you the maiden. I just love it. Seriously, it's like a lifesaver because now we have this space here with no maiden and I'm sick of them lights. They always make the camera flash. Anyway, I'm gonna show you this first quickly. I don't know if I've shown you the paint and that was in the glory's room, but I'm just gonna, it's a bit messy because I've moved everything. But I've done most of the skirting boards. I've not finished painting here yet. And I've not finished painting this corner yet. So, but I have actually got these tiles off. So I'm gonna fill this in. Get it all sorted and then underneath the skirt board need filling that needs sorting out it all needs rubbing down and just cleaning up i've painted up to here as you can see like all the tops need filling in then we need to get that piece of skirting board on there this is going to my studio these doors are going to the studio need to fill in down here but yeah I've done like from here so it'll be good to look back on this when it's all done so I'm looking forward to getting that finished I've been buying some stuff for that room now so I'm quite excited to share that with you because of some cute little things I've ordered the, like this wooden frame which has like all of the birth memory on it so it has like a date of birth, a name, a weight, a size, how big she was in length and stuff like that so I can't wait for that to come and show you that but anyway let's get on and show you this maiden because it's so good. So this is the maiden so it actually clips on here and you can unclip it at that end and take it off so then you've got your washing here like this isn't it very clever? So now I haven't got loads of rubbish and when these are not on here I can just shut the door and be done with it. So yeah, so Mel's just actually done some washing because this is a washer. So if I show you, look at this, it actually blew up. Can you see all the it actually ripped this out he's put it back in now the guy but this is actually was all out and it's just disgusting all the washing was black and everything so the actual ring from around that was out all that rubber was out hanging out and when he came he said we were lucky that it didn't cause more damage than it actually did so it banged that hard. When he actually pulled the washer and the dryer out, it it actually hit the back of the wall and knocked all of the plaster off the wall. So we had to like scoop all that up. So we've got to get them to come out and plaster because there's an electric plug behind there, so the plaster needs to be there to protect the wires and stuff like that. So I've got to be careful like how much you use the dryer. So I've basically just been putting it on for like 10, 15 minutes letting them just dry through a little bit and then just drying them on the maiden for the rest of the time um, but yeah hopefully they'll come out and plaster that before we get the cold to the washer and go and pick a new washer because I seriously cannot wait I will not be getting one of these again it, that's two technicians that have come out and said they have had nothing but issues with this um, make of wash washer which is the logic one which i've had a logic one before and to be fair it lasted me about eight years so at least i think it was logic it might not have been actually i'll have to ask dave i can't remember but i do swear that it was anyway i'm gonna go upstairs i'm gonna see what elf is doing it's getting a bit late now so i think i'm gonna tell him to put his computer away well he's not on the computer he's on that like stupid handheld thing i don't even know what they're all called so oh and look what i did i knocked this off the wall and broke the frame so with a with a picture down so i think we're going to go to ikea tomorrow and hopefully either pick the same one up i think we got them from ikea i can't even remember where we got them from 
I do I do think it was IKEA and see if we can get another one. If not, then I'll probably move them to and just get another three that match for down here. So I might put them in the washroom actually. I want to put some pictures in there, but I'm not gonna put um like them kind of pictures. I'm gonna put like beach pictures I think because it's a washroom, you know, and there's water there. So anyway, if you think I'm being quiet, it's because the babies are in bed and I don't want to wake them up. And I think I'll turn the light off upstairs like to Otherwise you'll lose me. Anyway, I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna go in blurred again. So I'm gonna chill for a bit now and I'm gonna catch up. Oh, I'm gonna catch up with Love Island because I've got it on record and because I was cleaning. Or because I needed to clean. I didn't want to put it on. I miss any of it. So I'm gonna watch it with Alpha, I think. And wait for Dave to come back. And then hopefully tomorrow is gonna to be a better day. I know we didn't I didn't wake up this morning. And to be honest, if you want me to be honest, I've not wanted to wake up and vlog at all. The last couple of days I've literally just wanted to jack it all in, put the camera down and say that's enough, I'm done. But that's just giving in too quick and that's probably just my mood because it's up and down and up and down and tonight I sat there and I thought I'm not going to let this beat me, I keep letting it beat me and I need to stop because that's not me, like I have never ever felt this low, like not ever, I've been through some shit in my life believe me and I've never actually felt. So it just means kicking myself up the ass, sorting myself out and getting on with it because you know sitting around, moping around, feeling sorry for myself isn't actually going to get me anywhere. So tomorrow is a new day and hopefully tomorrow is a better day. So I will check in with you out with Dave probably later on when he comes home. So I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you've had a better day than I've had anyway. So, I will see you soon. Meanwhile, back in the lowlands. Just, I've just got home, um, but just before we do the outro, I've been met by this, what could only be, this is like every kid's worst nightmare. So, Vanellope's been my roommate. Um, Lego do these little poly bags where you can get like a little minifigure for about two fifty three pound So, we've been getting the Disney princesses to go in the princess castle that we've got so that's never gonna get made it is gonna get made so Vanellope's been my me and my me for Elsa so I got her Elsa I found her in the poly bags by you know feeling them like a weirdo in the heat shop and um she got one but she's lost the head of it and the cape and I've come home tonight to find this now I don't know what's happened to Elsa but it looks like something out of Silent Hill or Resident Evil. I'm gonna have to find so uh, where I she, she genuinely has let it go. All right, guys. So I'm back now from Tesco's and the office. As Sarah said, she said that she was gonna do an outro with me. So that's what we're gonna do. So I've been out and I've got the um, anti-snoring stuff. Here it is. Yeah, I don't have to stand on the tiptoes this time. I need to sit on my knees. No. So um, basically, that little shit as well in the background keeps um, going in the kitchen because we've had chicken and we've he's trying to get in the bin in the kitchen but he's not been successful you have to get up pretty early in the morning to catch me out boy do you know what he does do you know if you leave the butter out he actually can take the lid off the butter he takes the lid off the butter but we always catch him because he, he doesn't do it quiet enough so we always end up hearing him so uh, we're gonna see if this works tonight Obviously Sarah's going to be the judge of it in the morning, but it's like a foam. You spray it three times at the back of your throat, swallow it, and then it's supposed to do I'm its magic. I'm just going to show you how bad this snoring is. I'm not going to show you, I'm going to let you listen. So let me just find it. Because seriously, this is... Right, how do you get to your videos? Um, I think it's under pictures. Is it? Is that it? Oh, my phone's just died This is what happens on live TV. <laughs> Alright. My volume was down. <laughs> that 
is what I have to put up with. Seriously. <laughs> Can you keep that camera straight? <laughs> that is a nightmare. It could be worse though because Kevin scratches his back <laughs> before he gets in bed on the wardrobe. He's worn all the paint out and, and on the corner. And keeps going mad. <laughs> And it even uses the, um, the what's it called? The, the um, you know, the archway to the living room. One minute. What? Right. He uses the archway <laughs> to the living room, <laughs> and then uh, scratches his back on that. And some of the uh, what is it, what's it called now? The anaglypto has come off. Is um, I like a good back scratch, you know, don't I? Every time I'm gonna go and do something like go to the bath or something like that, it's like scratch me back first. Where's yeah, your back scratch gone that we got? Yeah, from I got Florida? from Disney World, it was Mickey's hand and I used to like that. I think it for ages the and it's it's not it's probably in the old in the in the well it's not old, the new Disney um case that we got. Ah yeah. We had um, we had what's it called? We had uh, vouchers left over and we went and bought it, it was two hundred dollars, wasn't it? The suitcase, it's amazing though, and it's huge. Yeah, it was a Mickey one, wasn't it? Yeah, he's light on it, and that's scratched to death now, because Virgin decided to just Knack it up. play football with it, I think. Mm. So, we are going to end today's vlog. Um, I'm going to try and get over to the office tomorrow in the daytime, because I really want to spend some time with Sarah and watch some TV and start building that Lego castle with her. I'm not lying, you know I'm not lying, don't you? <laughs> I'm going to try and get over there um, in the afternoon if I can. And uh, yeah, we are going to end the vlog and we will make sure we let you know. Oh, I'm going to take the camera down. Is, yeah, and we've also got something um, coming up as well this week. Um, it's kind of like tied in with the Fizz family. We'll tell you more tomorrow. So that leaves you on a cliffhanger. Do not forget to smash the like button, subscribe if you're not already. Make sure you click the notification bell, it does nothing. Make sure you leave us a comment if you can. And we will see you guys tomorrow. Why? Because we do this every single day. No. Yeah. Every single week. Alright, then every single week. No. Every single month. Every single minute. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs>